Achievement Unlocked, Cult Status, Set a New Standard for the Early Gaming Industry. Alright, welcome back, Canoers. My name's Canoe Bear, and we're playing Game Dev Tycoon. Alright, it's been a few days since I played this. I don't totally remember what's happening here. So, what do we got? Let's see. Uh, can we research anything? Sequels, yeah, let's do that. Um, let's see what else we can research. So, simple cutscenes, alright, that works. Let's do... Great combination, yeah, looks good. Okay, so what else can we research? Let's research some better dialogues, and I'm gonna research some better AI. We wanna research that as soon as we can, because AI, good AI is helpful. So, yeah. Oh. Better completed, better dialogues, that looks good. Scratching our heads, scratching our heads. Better AI. What can you do now? Let's see if we can research anything. Casual. Let's see. Is there a new topic that we want? Hunting mystery cyberpunk. 56 research. Um, no, let's just train you then. Train. Let's do... Sheesh, your design is terrible. Let's do design then. I don't... Uh, you know, you're the technical guy, but I want everybody to be a little bit well-rounded so that we don't get ourselves in any sticky situations later. Uh, some sticky wickets. Let's do, let's just thank you. We'll do well-rounded training for you. And you, we will train you on, um, you're pretty close to even. We'll do game dev gems for you also. What should we do for ourselves, canoers? Let's do, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Who clicked that button? Let's do, yeah, we'll keep ourselves well-rounded as well. It's always good to be well-rounded. I like to be good at math and literature. So, this guy's, uh, nope. So, yeah. I like this little, uh, little map up here. Level one, golden chest, mini boss. Space strategy is now up to market. It generated 2.8 million in sales. That's pretty good, huh? 50, 57,000 fans. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. So, what are we gonna do next? We need to design a new engine, don't we? Let's create custom engine. So, can you, oops, no space. Can you bear engine seven? Good, okay, we want cu simple cutscenes. I'm gonna see to save money, we're gonna get rid of the lower things here. Um, Cause we're never gonna use them again. So, better dialogues, better AI. I mean, it only saves us 50K, but you know, that's 50K. $50,000 is kind of a lot of money if you think about it. Create engine. Okay, let's do it. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. So this is the point in the recording where I hope that sound is recording. It turns out I have to launch these programs in a very specific way for Game Dev Tycoon to get it to simulation games recently to get it to record the audio. I have to start recording before I launch Game Dev Tycoon, otherwise it doesn't pick up the audio for some reason. Very strange, but whatever. I can handle it. Canoe Bear Engine 7 is now complete. All right. So let's go send everyone on vacation. Everyone on vacation, okay? And then when they get back, we're gonna go ahead and design something. We're gonna release a new game. I think we need 100,000 fans before we can release a medium-sized game on our own, but I might try it anyway, just to push, push the boundaries a bit. So, okay, everyone's back. So let's develop a new game. Oh no, let's develop a sequel. This is where the big buckaroos happen. Is with sequels. So, zombie action PC, 775, okay. 8.5, military action game ring, 8.25, 9.75, zombie action game ring. Did I just release? Let's do a sequel to that, except. So, medium, zombies action, let's do, pick our platform. We're gonna do it on this guy. We have 3.3 million, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do game, and then we're gonna do Zombies Action 2. Zombies Action 2. All right, let's do it. Next, um, let's do 3D graphics. I wanna get shifted over to 3D graphics, and you have to design games in 3D graphics to develop that, that muscle, if you will. So, what are we doing, an action scene? So, yeah, simple action scenes. So, we need engine. Right. Okay, so yeah, I'll 
do that. Um, do it like that. Or yeah, let's do it like that. So that looks pretty good. So let's do let's get some marketing going. Let's do some magazines. So we got a little bit of hype going. Um, I think we're gonna do another round of marketing too. Working on a new game? Yeah, that's true. Let's do an interview. One of your readers are curious about what decisions go into making a video game. Um, more focus on gameplay or dialogues? More on gameplay. It's action. Thank you for your time. All right. So, okay. Uh, agree with this. Good. I picked the right one. So, okay. Better dialogues, better AI. I'm happy with how we're assigned here, so I'm gonna leave it. And yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's get some more marketing going. Let's do magazines and demos. 150K, we can afford it. Let's do it. Vena gear will be taken off the market. Hype is set 13, 14, 15. Yeah, there we go. Now the hype's going up there. Got to get the hype machine going. It always helps. Um, 500K. Uh, no, we'll just do a small booth for now. So, world design is not that important, and uh, um, but graphic is. So, okay, I'm doing that. Let's get a bit to this guy then. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, hype's at 23, 24, 26. Our technology score is very high. I should probably get somebody. The next person I should bring on should probably be another design person. So that we can try and keep these two equal. And just squash those bugs. Go ahead and squash those bugs. Squash those bugs. Oh, here we go. This is G3. Oh, man. And now it's time for the lag. Commence lag. Uh, 84,000 people showed up to our tiny booth. That's pretty good, right? We didn't make the top 100 booths. We will in the future, though. Okay. <coughs> Now come on, squeeze some more bubbles out of that, out of your mind grapes. Squeeze some more bubbles out of your mind grapes. Here's a proposition. Let's decrypt it. Very special research made to borrow some research information to enclose. We will. Yeah, I'll do that. Let's do it. Thank you for business. You successfully researched cyberpunk. Okay, that helps us. Oh, there's another bug. Got to squash that bug, and we'll go ahead and finish that. 79 hype. That's pretty good. All right, we leveled up engine. Didn't level up 3D graphics, but we need to keep going with that. Release game. That's a pretty good game. Yeah, increased salary. Good. Everyone's getting better. Multiplayer. Yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to get fun. All right, let's see how we did on this. Here come the reviews. Let's see how we did. I have a good feeling about this one. I think we're going to do well. Yeah. Eight. That's pretty good. I, you know, higher would be better, but eight is okay. I, I'm satisfied with eight. As long as you say, yeah, there we go. Eight point... 8.25, that's good. I'm okay with that. Cool. So let's go ahead and do some... Uh, let's do the generate the game report. And let's go ahead and send everyone on vacation. Uh, no, we'll train them first. Actually, no, first we'll do research. And then we will multiplayer. And then you can get trained. And you can get trained. Okay. Can you bear Yeah, they released the sequel. Great responses. That's good to know. 17th ranked game out at the moment. Um, I don't like chasing these popular genre things. I just feel like by the time you get it finished, the popular genre thing has worn off. You don't like to chase trends. You like to set trends. Play system action is great. Yeah, that's what I thought. I had a feeling that it might be good. Okay, so as soon as these guys are done training, actually no, let's just go ahead and do it now. Let's uh, create a new custom engine with multiplayer. So, 420k, we can afford it. Good, so let's go ahead and do it. Can you bear engine eight? Okay, create engine. 
So it doesn't matter with this one since there's no time limit that these two guys aren't helping. But once they're done training, they'll start helping and then it'll get done faster and everything will be copacetic and we'll all be happy and all uh, tickle each other and have tickle fights and everyone will be in love. Normalize again? No. Yeah, see, I guess we probably could have designed a simulation that quickly, but it would have been close. So there we go. I think, this is, I think this poster over here is supposed to be modeled after Doom, like the original Doom. So there's a new Doom coming out. I'm probably going to play it on my channel when it comes out. Um, I can't remember when it comes out. I think it comes out in June. But, um, okay, so let's send everyone on vacation. But yeah, I'm going to play it when it comes out. So stick around for that. Subscribe now if you want to watch me play Doom when it comes out. I'm going to get it the day it comes out and have videos go live immediately. So maybe I'll even stream it live. So, here we go. Zombies Action 2 is not the market. It sold 3.2 million. That's pretty good. So, I think we'll design one more game here real quick. And let's go ahead and do it. Develop a new game. Oh, develop a sequel. We'll do military strategy. Let's do military action gaming. That did all right. We'll do this one. We will, yeah. Let's go ahead and do medium play system. Engine 8, so military action 2. Next. 3D graphics, yep. So, and let's get the marketing going. Choose. So this is pretty much how the game goes from here on in. You just get bigger. Um, we can scale up to AAA games in a, in a little bit, or to large games and then AAA games. And then once you get to AAA games, it gets very tricky, actually. You gotta make sure you're managing everything correctly and making sure nobody's over allocated in their responsibilities. And, you know, it's, it's fun. It gets a little, yeah, like I said, it gets tricky. So, there we go. We're gonna leave everything the same since we're just doing action, another action game. And that did well for us last time, and we've upgraded our engine, so we don't really need to tweak anything too much, I don't think. Um, we'll probably tweak stuff next time we go through this, though, but. Um, oh, did I forget to do multiplayer? I think I forgot to include multiplayer. Whoops, that's a derp and a half. Apologies. Well, I guess we'll see on the we'll see on the replay, won't we? But you know, our next one. Oh, let's do some more marketing. Our next one will have multiplayer. Okay, here we go. Hype's going up there. It's good hype. I just got to squash those bugs. Yeah, technology broke 100. That's good. We got a bunch of research points, too. So let's go ahead and squeeze the rest of those technology bubbles and design bubbles out. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. There we go. Another bug. All right. Oh, get rid of those bugs. That looks good. Oh, here comes the N64. Yep. I had an N64. That was a fun console. There wasn't a ton of great games on it, but the games that were on it, the good, the games that were good were amazing. So this is like those Zelda games for N64 are like some of the best games I've ever played. But and I'm a huge Majora's Mask fan too. I know most people talk about Ocarina of Time, but which is great also. But I think Majora's Mask is amazing. Release the game. Do we get due to salary increase? That's good. 3D graphics version two. Good. That's what we wanted. So let's see what these scores are. I think they'll be pretty good, even though we forgot to include multiplayer. At least I think we did. Here we go, here we go. Oh, nine, yeah, there we go. Nine, 10, 10, all right, 9.5. That's good, there we go. All right, achievement unlocked, cult status, set a new standard for the early gaming industry. Nice, I don't think I've ever gotten that uh, achievement before. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode, so if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and tickle that like button and leave comments below, and if you want to see more of these videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Day 47.